New details just coming in after a woman was kidnapped and killed today near Grant Park in southeast Atlanta. Yeah, the victim's family just identifying her as Mariam Abdul Rob, 27 years old, with her whole life ahead of her. And right now, police are questioning a man who they detained earlier today. 11 Alive's Joe Ripley joining us live now from Borough Street, where police say she was forced into an SUV right outside her home. Joe, you spoke to her father just a short time ago. I did, and we're giving the family some privacy, so we're set off just a bit from their home where all of this started early this morning. Uh, the father of Miriam Abdul Rob said his daughter, who was just 27 years old, was the most loving, peaceful person he had met, and this she did not deserve. It's just wild. It's literally like out of a horror movie. Like that's everyone's worst nightmare to be kidnapped. And the one place you think you're safe is your home. It was outside this home on Borough Street in Southeast Atlanta, where police first got the call about someone witnessing a possible kidnapping around 5 a.m. He saw uh, the female uh, being forcibly grabbed and uh, placed into a vehicle. About an hour later, police responded to a shots fired call around Lakewood Avenue and Terrace Way. Jennifer Gant heard the gunfire in her own backyard. Got ready to do some stuff on my computer, and uh, all of a sudden I hear one pop, and then I heard three consecutive pops, and I knew what fireworks. Around 10 o'clock, police got another call, this time about a gruesome discovery in the wood line. A female, uh, mid 20s, uh, deceased on scene, and what we now believe that that is the same female that was kidnapped. Family identified her as Miriam Abdulram. She worked as a bartender in Atlanta. Police say a person of interest was detained. The family says police told them the man was involved in a police chase and crashed in Griffin, but he has not yet been identified by police. It's deja vu for Miriam's next door neighbor, Alfonso Lara. He knew the wife of Katie Jonas, the woman killed last month in Piedmont Park, whose case remains unsolved. All of this has just been so overwhelming, you know, all these deaths, it's just like, when is it going to stop? Oh, your own child burying them before they bury you is probably the most heart-wrenching thing that you probably can never come back from, you know, that's going to live with them forever, and it's just so terrible. As you can imagine, the family is still distraught right now. As far as uh, suspect description information, we have yet to hear from police on that, though we understand a person of interest is detained right now. Of course, as we learn more, we will bring that information along to you. In the meantime, police are urging everyone to stay vigilant, especially with the case a couple of weeks ago with Katie Jonas being found and killed there in Piedmont Park. Yeah, and there has been no connection between either of those cases. We should point that out to everyone tonight. Just terrible news. 27 years old. Joe Ripley, thank you. And this is a story that has been developing all day long. You can listen to more information from police during this afternoon's press conference. You can find it on our 11 Alive YouTube page.